Hello everyone, welcome back to my T-Script basic series. It's been a while since I last made a tutorial of this. I have made the switch to 1.4.5, but all of the scripts from the previous videos I made definitely work in this version. So in this part, I will be going over the basics for making custom NPCs, which I am so excited about. Alright, so in order for a custom NPC to execute, you will need to put in this code before you start scripting the NPC. With NPC and in parentheses sys sysval and then in another set of parentheses P A R A M one and then close the parentheses off with two two right side parentheses at the end. This will execute the script for the NPC. Now, there are many ways you can customize an NPC. I will have a link to everything you can do with scripting NPCs in the description. In this, in this video, I will go through a couple easy examples specifically for beginners. I will do more tutorials on more advanced custom NPCs in other videos. You can also change the behavior of the NPC completely by using eyeballs, but that will have its own video once I learn how to use them. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to make an NPC follow the player. To do that, you need to make an if statement. So if char, and then in parentheses 1, which means player 1, dot x, um, which means the x position of the player is greater than the NPC's x position. Hold on a second. x then dot facing which means the enemy's direction that direction of the enemy that it's gonna go to it equals equals zero equals zero this means that if the player is to the right of the NPC the NPC moves to the right after that you can either type in else if or else since the NPC can only move in two different directions. So I'm going to type in else if for this example. If um, else if char and then parentheses one again dot x is now less than less than dot x then dot dot facing equals 1. Then you want to end the if statement and then end the with statement. If you test if you test the level right now, hold on, let me let me place an enemy here to show you cuz let me place an enemy, hold on. Alright, this is perfect. Alright, here we go. So, anyways, if you test the level right now, the script won't work. The reason is that you haven't connected the script to the NPC. So, in order to do that, right-click on an NPC from the toolbox, scroll down to the end of the scroll bar right here, scroll down to the end until it works until it says scripts. Um, now you want to go to the NPC scripts box and select your script from here and since you're not going to change the behavior of an NPC I would recommend checking the parallel execution box. This will keep the original behavior of the NPC the same so if you're not using so if you're not completely changing the behavior of an NPC I would um, you would need to check off parallel execution, but not all NPCs use this. Now let's test the level and see what happens now. I apologize for the bad screen recording, so, but you can see that the player, um, the, I'm sorry, not the player, the Goomba here, is uh, go following you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. 
Now, here's what will happen if you don't use parallel execution for the NPC. Let me just show you. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Right, check off. Check off that. Now let's see what happens if you don't have parallel execution. It doesn't work, as you can see here. Even if I go to the right, it doesn't work. If I jump on him, nothing happens. So, and also, another thing to mention is... Let me just turn parallel execution back on before... On is... If you want the um, NPC to um, move away from you instead of following you, you can either reverse these. You can ever either switch these numbers or switch the inequality signs. But you can't do both because it, that would be the same exact thing. So basically, either switch the numbers or switch the inequality signs. So I recommend switching the numbers because it's simpler. And let's see what happens. Actually. Did I do this wrong? No, I didn't. Alright, here we go. Now the Goomba's gonna move away from us. Unless... Alright, now the Goomba's gonna move away. See how the Goomba's now moving away from you? Let's try to jump on him. It's kind of hard, because he's moving away from you. But, it is possible. Now, remember the first line of code? Here's what will happen if you get rid of it the this code here if you get rid of it then this will happen it's an, an error will happen so every time you make a custom NPC make sure you have that line of code before anything else so for the next example I will show you how to make the Goomba masks actually effective here's one thing you can do with them you can make Goombas not be able to hurt the player as long as the player has the mask on. So here's how you do that. First type in the with NPC statement. Sorry. Then type in if char and then in parentheses one dot item slot equals negative sixteen, which is the value of the Goomba mask. Then dot friendly, which means the Goomba won't hurt the player, equals one then end the if then end with Alright, now I will, you will need to right click the NPC again, then scroll down, and then find your script. Let's put a Goomba mask mm -hmm. somewhere in the level. Oh, we're so, let me find the Goomba mask. Goomba mask. Alright. Alright, here we go. Uh, what am I even doing? Oh, wow. Forgot all about this. But this is the other NBC that I made, so don't don't even bother.
Alright, here we go. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's test this out and see if it works. Now the Goomba won't hurt you. But if you don't have the mask... Yep, the Goomba hurts you, as you guessed. As you guessed. Now, going back to the first example that I showed you earlier, let's, let's replace, let's replace, let's replace this with dot facing and see what happens. Um, then, oh, hold on, equals zero, no, facing equals one, facing equals one, and this is, t so, if you're facing, so, if the NPC is facing so if the value of the NPC is one when it's a, when it's dot facing, it means the NPC is moving to the left. If the uh, dot facing equals zero, then the NPC will move to the right. So let's test this out and see what happens. See? Oh, well, it's doing the opposite of what I wanted it to do, but. So, this means that if the player is facing left, the Goomba will go right, and if the player is facing right, the Goomba will go left. So, thanks for watching. I will be doing some more examples and an introduction to end create and end kill in the next part, which will be longer. If you want to see more SMBX tutorials, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. Bye, guys!